Okay, our Jeep Liberty required a little bit of engine work. The timing chain fouled up on me. I don't know what happened for sure, but the uh, the gear rubbing on the case. Uh, the gear and chain. Where is it right there? Was rubbing right there. And it eventually broke the chain. Let's see. Is this it? Yeah, right there. Broke that link. So, when it did that, it, it jumped time and stopped. So, while I'm waiting on my parts to come in, I thought I would go ahead and replace the heater core. And the service manual says to remove the seats, remove the console, remove the steering column. But I did not do that. I did remove the seats and I did remove the console. Put the shifter in one and drop the column. You have to get in there anyway because you got to get the dash loose. I did not remove the dash. I just pulled it back and used this bungee. Strapped it up to the top corner of the back door and held it back all right held it way back and with it way back you got tons of access because the heater core is right on top just has some little clips that hold it in easy real easy anyway when you're going back together there's a few tricks but there's a uh, two bolts Can you see it one there and one right over here that are on the inside and on the outside there's just the one here yes i did dump my freon you can take yours and get it professionally removed if you choose but i was a bad boy i did dump it anyway uh so uh yeah it's not bad you don't have to remove this from the car just loosen the crap out of it and commence to pulling uh, this will come unplugged it goes to the reservoir that's on the passenger side the vacuum reservoir you can see it when you take this uh, side cover off you'll see the reservoir right here it has another screw to hang it on there better uh, so a few tips here's the vacuum line that goes to the reservoir that needs to be cleaned when you're going back together be sure and wrap this cable into this channel as you go back together with it so uh, it won't get pinched you know in the duct work you don't want that things just won't fit good and uh, so far it looks like it's going to go pretty easy Yes, indeed, it is going easy. Uh, you know, wiggling this back into position, you can go back, forth, one side to the other. You know, I, I just kind of use this side here as a guide. You know, it's got a bolt right here, so bolt down there. So I just kind of got this metal plate here close to the body on this side and went to the other side and shifted it and then uh, I found that it was trying to hang up on the steering column so I just picked the column up and kablooey it just popped right in place so as you see these line up pretty good I'll uh, put some pressure on it what I'll do is I'll get some extensions or maybe that long pry bar and I'll kind of wedge it between the floor and the dash kind of hold it up a little bit and uh tighten all these bolts back in and i did it i just did it don't get too excited go together slow be sure you plug everything back in before you put the dash back on i mean there's a blower motor there's a 
there's a uh, up in that hole there's a blend door needs to be plugged in the antenna cable needs to be routed back in the hole so I know it's very exciting to see it go back together don't get in too big of a hurry do everything everything if you pay attention when you're going back together you'll see that there's a a piece of plastic and it goes in a hole that's in the firewall so just kind of line that up you gotta go to the other side now I'm just discovering this as I go so I thought I would show it to you yeah this side has one too you just kind of all right look here just caught it again there it is the steering column so there you go now look those bolt holes line up nicely let's go back to the other side and wiggle it the steering column will trip you, trip you up a little bit i'm just trying to to uh go over this real good so i don't have any real problems you know i don't want any problems i want it to be okay i don't want any rattles or issues any electrical issues so it's it's seated nice it's not even bolted down and it almost don't move you know it's pretty solid so we're gonna put these bolts in i'm gonna put these bolts in and uh, start installing components on big things like this bracket above the column start all the bolts before you tighten it up it's always a good a good practice anyway 